welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all well. My name is Lydia if you are new here and today we have another styling video. So my last one went down so so well which is great. So that hopefully means you're all ready for another styling video. Today's video is in sponsored partnership with shopstyle.co.uk. It is such a good website. I use it all the time and by all the time I mean on a daily basis. <laughs> if you are a bit of a shopaholic like me, some of you may have already heard of shopstyle.co.uk, others may not. So I'll just briefly explain. Basically it's a site that allows members access to thousands of brands and products. So everything from designer to high street, online fashion brands, there's such a wide spectrum which makes it so great. I use shop style all the time and by all the time I mean daily. <laughs> yeah, probably daily. Um, it's so great if you want to search for a piece but don't want to search an individual website and you want access to loads of different brands and the products that they sell. So once you've signed up and everything, you can basically type in the product that you're looking for. So say you want a racer, black, top like this, and all your different options will come up. You can narrow down the price, style, the brands, all different things like that so that you can really hone in on the exact item you want to buy. And another great thing about being a member of Shop shopstyle.co.uk is that members get exclusive access to offers, sales, collaboration, previews. So you get to know it first basically, kind of in the know with all your products. And another great thing is that you can get sale alerts. So if you want a product, you have the ability to save it and then when it's either back in stock or in sale, you'll get an alert to that. So if there's something you really, really want and it's gone out of stock, you will know when it's back. And again, if something's gone into the sale, you will know. So it's great, particularly with designer pieces, if you want something. You can also create a bank of all your favorite products as well. So if you don't want to buy anything just yet, you can kind of save it and come back to it later. And again, if it goes in sale or uh, comes back in stock, then you'll know um, from your saved products list. So it is such a good website to use. Like I say, I use it daily because they've got like an influencer version as well. So I'm always on there searching for products and it's a really good way to share products with my audience as well. So for my side of things, I love it. Today is basically going to be a styling video focused on products that you can find on shopstyle.co.uk. So I have chosen three of my favourite brands, all of which feature on there. So I've got ASOS, Mango and Topshop. I have got, I think there's 12 pieces overall, including some earrings and two pairs of shoes. And I basically just wanted to show you how you can style all of these pieces in lots of different ways. It's that kind of transitional, if it's still a bit warm wherever you're living, or sometimes we get warmer days in England, I've got options for that and then a bit more transitional style and colours, things like that. So I'm not going to talk anymore, we're going to get straight into the styling video and I'm going to show you all the different ways you can wear each of the pieces on this rail. So first up is this outfit I just had on then, which I feel like is the minimalist's dream. I absolutely love this outfit. I'm, I kind of can't really define my style because sometimes I really like to go all out with headbands and big jewellery and skirts and puff sleeves and then sometimes I really just like a minimal outfit like this. To me, this is very kind of Rosie Huntington Whiteley. She um, does minimal style so well. So I've got these trousers on from ASOS. These are 28 pounds and they are the soft peg trousers. What I love about these is that they're like jeans, but they're the softest, most comfortable, lightweight fabric for jeans. They just fit so well. These are a 10. I'd say if anything, I would go down a size, especially if you've got slightly slimmer waist. So maybe go down a size. With the belt, they're absolutely fine. It's just if you wanted to take them off and just leave them as that. This style of trouser, like the slightly balloon peg shape is so in at the moment. They're just so comfortable and I feel like I'm gonna get so much wear out of them. And for me, I don't always like to wear black. I've been quite conscious that I've been wearing a lot of black lately. And I don't always like to wear black trousers. I wear my leather ones all the time, but I want to branch out into something a bit different, particularly for autumn, because I feel like we can get in a bit of a style rut, especially through the all autumn into the winter seasons, into spring, there's a lot of black around. 
so I want to make a conscious effort to not always wear black trousers. So these are just so comfortable. I think you could easily wear them to the office with something smarter, maybe some loafers, and then again, dressed up a bit more like this if you were going out for drinks or something like that. So next, I have got this racer top on. This one is from Topshop. I think it's such a good fit. It's slightly cropped, if you can see but also just works so well with high-waisted because you don't want a lot of fabric going on underneath. I like bodysuits to look at, but I don't really like the feel of them wearing. And so I think this is a nice alternative if you want that bodysuit look. This is slightly ripped. It was nine pounds, so really affordable. And I just think it looks so good with this. This shape is so in at the moment. Going into autumn, it's still gonna be a really big hit in terms of shape and cut. So a really good one to, well, not even invest in, it's nine pounds. So a really good one to just have in your wardrobe and throw on with everything. And then finally, I paired it, oh no, I've got my earrings as well, let me show you. But I've got these shoes on from Topshop, 39 pounds, I think they're almost sold out now, but I'll link a really similar one. Topshop do quite a few like this. And they're so comfortable. I'll link these uh, if they're still around, because I know they've at least got one size left, and I think it's a six. So I'll link them and then I'll also link an alternative pair. But they're so comfortable. Again, this shape is not going anywhere. It's a square toe. These are called the Stricky sandals because of the crisscross style. And then it's got the little kitten heel with the, it's kind of square like the rest of the shape. I just think even though they're so minimal, they make an impact because of the cut of them. It's very subtle little details, like the square toe matching square back and then where the straps fall. They just go with everything. So yeah, love this outfit and my earrings. So I'm gonna be wearing these pretty much with every outfit. So, do these mango, come closer, mango hoops. I think the thing with hoops is that you get so much wear out of them, but some of them just look a bit plain and boring. And what I like about these is that they're this kind of battered gold and they don't go all the way around. They just kind of flick here. So I think they're a classic hoop that you can wear with everything, but also they add a little bit more interest. So I've only changed one item of this outfit and it's a skirt, but it's also made a completely different look and style. So this skirt, again from Topshop, it was £35 and I got this in a size 10, which I think, you know, is a really good fit, probably true to size. It's got this pleated, ruchy detail at the top and then a looser pleat at the bottom, which I think is a nice take on a pleated skirt because we see a lot of pleated skirts around, but sometimes they can look a bit wide and a bit bulky and I don't think that's very flattering. Whereas because this has got the tighter pleat at the top, it skims and hugs a little bit more, but it still gives the effect of a normal pleated skirt. I love that it's got these buttons down the side here um, and the little split too, which is slightly more flattering. I think if it didn't have the split, it wouldn't look quite the same. So a really nice piece to have. So I've just got the shoes on again and the black top, just picking out the bits of black. And I think it's a very dark green that's going through it. But I think this is such a lovely skirt and actually quite flexible in your wardrobe because I'll show you a different way to wear it in a minute. Also, I'm gonna pop it on with this blazer from ASOS. So this blazer is 95 pounds, it's a double-breasted edition. What I like about this is that it is pink in autumn. I feel like pink at the moment is gonna be one of those micro trends, a bit like the pleated skirt. It's not a huge trend that everyone knows about, but you keep seeing it popping up. And I just think this bubblegum pink is so nice and so different for autumn. We're very, very much used to seeing the rusty coloured shades, but pink, I just love. And I think with the more autumnal toned skirt, the skirt has got pink in it, but it's a bit more toned down. I think this look really works. It looks so nice if you're going out for drinks, out for an occasion. It's just quite a flexible look, and I think the pop of pink really works. So for my next look, I've just swapped the top and the shoes to make a much more casual outfit. So I've got this sweater on. This is from Mango, 19.99, so really good price. But I think the thing about this is that it's so flexible. Um, you can just chuck it on with everything in your wardrobe and it'll match. And it's a nice way to dress something down because it's not a jumper. I think jumpers like proper knitwear is a bit more formal, but this with it being like a sweatshirt um, is a bit more relaxed and just really comfortable, easy to wear, easy to throw on. And with it being cropped, it looks nice with all these slightly high-waisted things we've got here. 
and then I've got these little slides on from, they're not slides, they're little like ballet slippers, pointy toe from ASOS. They're £14, really easy to wear. What I like about them is that they're kind of a mock croc shade in a really nice shade of beige. And again, I think these are a pair of shoes that will just go with everything because they're that nice beige colour that'll just blend into all your wardrobe. I just wanted to show you a slightly more casual way to wear the skirt. It doesn't have to be dressy at all. And then if you did want to glam it up slightly, you can still pop this blazer over your shoulders for a bit more of a dressy look, but it's like a more dressy daytime look. A lot of people actually ask me what to wear for a baby shower or something like that. So a daytime occasion where you want to look nice and smart and put together, but it's not dressing nighttime. I think just chuck the blazer with this and it's a nice, smart daytime look. So just to make a really casual, comfortable look, I've popped on these mango jeans which I wore out the other day. They're so comfortable. They're called the Grace Slim Fit Jeans and they do them in quite a few different colours. So if this lighter wash isn't for you, I think they do them in dark grey, they do them in a darker denim, they do them in an even lighter wash, I think they do them in a white. Um, so definitely worth checking out. They're slightly high-waisted, but I think my real selling point for these are that they're just so comfortable. So if you are looking for just a really comfy, casual outfit, this is the one because this sweater is just so cosy as well. And then I put the flats on with it too, just to kind of complete the look. But if, like me, you work from home, then this is a perfect outfit for you. Just really simple, really casual, but it still looks quite smart and put together. So next, I've got the grey jeans on still with the strippy Topshop heels and then this shirt by ASOS. So this shirt was £30 and it is a satin, kind of orangey, this is very autumnal shades. It's got blacks, oranges, beiges, which I think makes it quite versatile. And I've just put these on together just to show you like a casual going out look. I think this shirt is so wearable because you could easily wear this to work with a pair of black trousers, a bit more dressed down. And then, like I say, put it with some jeans and some heels for a night out look and some big gold earrings. I think these work perfectly with it. Um, it's just a really nice, easy casual look. I had a shirt like this a few years ago from Zara and I got so many compliments for it. It's slightly pyjama style, which I love. And I just think it's really versatile and wearable and something a little bit different to a plain satin shirt, which I have quite a few of and wear a lot. It just adds a little bit of something different. So yeah, I think this is a really nice look. So I think this is actually one of my favorite looks and I've just popped these trousers on that I had before, the ASOS design one, with this shirt and the same shoes. So slightly more dressy look than just with the jeans. But I really like this together. And as you can see, the tones in the belt match perfectly with this shirt. I quite like that both are a bit billowy and oversized. It feels a little bit more cool and relaxed. But I think these trousers are such a good purchase and really do go with absolutely everything. Yeah, this is a really easy look for going out because it instantly looks smart and chic, but also it's just really comfortable and easy to wear and throw on as well. So if you are in a slightly warmer climate and the weather hasn't really changed yet, or on the odd occasion that we do get those nice warm September days, I think this dress is such a lovely piece. I couldn't really resist it. I'm going on holiday next week, so this is gonna be coming in my suitcase with me. If you do have any late September holidays, I know a lot of people day but also I think you can just chuck a jumper or chunky cardigan over this and instantly turn this into a slightly later transitional outfit so I've just put it on with the flat shoes now but I think you can also wear it with the heels in fact let me try that look so I think if you had like a black blazer to pop over the top that would really tie the whole look together with the black sandals and then a nice black blazer and that would make it into a really transitional style. I think my favourite was with the flat so because it's just a nice easy look but I love just the ready tones in this. I think it's so pretty. Really easy wrap dress. This was a size 10 from Mango, $35.99 and just so easy and pretty. And then if you wanted you can just chuck a jumper like this over your shoulders make it a bit more well just give you that extra warmth and a bit more casual as well so back in the ASOS trousers and I've also got an ASOS 
boyfriend t-shirt on with these rolled sleeves. This was £12 and I don't think you can go wrong with a plain oversized white boyfriend style t-shirt. Um, ASOS do them so well, really good cut and fit and I think for transitional season there's nothing better than layering up a white t-shirt. So I popped it with these um, pants and then these little ASOS shoes again but yeah I just don't think you can beat a classic white t-shirt and I'm gonna try it now with the ASOS blazer to show you um, a slightly more dressy way to wear this look because I think depending on your blazer on what kind of jacket you're wearing you could wear a really casual jacket with that look and make it you know a really easy daytime casual outfit but then you can pop on a bright pink blazer like this and it instantly looks a little bit smarter and you've just got that pop of colour in there as well. And what I like about this is that it's not your traditional autumn outfit but this blazer is quite, it's not, I wouldn't say it's heavy but it's quite substantial thick material but I mean for £95 it should be but that's what I like about it is that you can easily wear this through autumn and still be nice and warm without having to resort to heavy shades of black and your traditional colours. I do think there is so much wear to be got out of this blazer even though it is such a bright out there shade I think it's actually really versatile especially if you've got quite a lot of plainer pieces. So for my final look I have kept on the blazer and t-shirt, popped the grace jeans back on which again so versatile and the Topshop black strippy heels because I really like pink and black together. I think it looks quite classic but also a bit of a modern twist especially with this bubblegum pink shade. Um, but yeah I just think this is a really easy look to throw on. I love 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 this blazer. I just think like I say versatile even though it's such an out there shade especially for me anyway because I don't usually wear a lot of colour but this is just such an easy way to wear it and again I think you would easily get away with this for work with some smarter trousers and flats and then just switch up for the jeans and some heels if you're going out in the evening um, so yeah just a really nice fun easy look so thank you so much for watching this little video that is in partnership with shopstyle.co.uk i'll leave all their information below and so you can just head over there sign up and it'll take you straight to the website i think my favorite thing about the whole site is that you can really find something you want without having to trail through every single brand of website so instead of going all to asos mango and topshop separately on all those different sites you can narrow down your search completely if you want a pink blazer you can type pink blazer in you can narrow down the brands that you want you can narrow down the prices that you want and it's just a really easy way to shop and makes life so much easier especially in our very time controlled generation where time is very limited it's such a good thing to have and also sale alerts I mean that's a massive one and exclusive offers and discounts so definitely worth it as I say I use it daily so I mean definitely worth it so thank you so much for watching I will see you in my next video hopefully fingers crossed oh no actually I've got a couple of videos coming after this whilst I'm on holiday I've got everything pre-prepared so you will have still videos going out styling videos whilst I am away don't forget to follow me on Instagram my handle is at the DJ Tomlinson I'll link it below Thank you for watching. Bye.